Today we're going to talk about inputs and outputs and all the crazy things that Holly EFI can do with them. With over 40 programmable inputs and outputs on a Holly Dominator, you can literally do anything you want. The sky's the limit. If you can dream it up, you can do it. You're at the racetrack, you're scrambling, you need to monitor an input, something that's happening on your race car. You need to pin something and turn something on. You need to shift the car. You need to close the throttle. You need to uh, turn your speakers on. Uh, you can literally do anything you want to do. So we're going to go over a brief demonstration of inputs and outputs and some of the things that you can do with them. Today I'm going to show you how to flash the brake lights of your competitor after you've crushed them in the, in the shutdown area. You go through there, you look over, you're crushing him or her, you throw the chute, you stand on the brakes. I'm going to show you how to flash the brake lights at them with the EFI. New technology, uh, no longer need to just pump the brakes to show them how slow they are. You just go over here to your input and output tabs. Uh, I've got an input programmed as brake pressure. What's awesome about the Holly is you can program each input and output, whether you want power ground, PWM, um, 5 volt, whatever you want to put it at. Go over here, it's ground. You're going to go to your output. Now, what that is, is you're just going to pin it, pin it to your brake from your brake pedal switch to the Holly. I don't really, I'm lazy. I don't want to reach over there. In the old days, you had to flash the brake lights at people or you turn the flashers on. Well, our cars don't have hazard lights. So you hit the brake switch. You got your tail light output here. You go to your configure window. You can pick how many switched input triggers that you'd like. Um, I've got it just set up as brake pressure, turning it on. You can have it where brake pressure is. Disabled, enabled, at input release. Uh, you can also turn any input any output on by anything that the Holly sees as far as a sensor input. Uh, you can set it up to run on anything that it uses. Um, anything that the Holly does, you can literally turn, use to turn your, your brake lights on. You can have it when your nitrous stage comes on. You can have it when it's a certain RPM. You can have it when your air fuel ratio is a certain ratio. That way your crew on the starting line can know that you're about to burn the engine to the ground. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go up here to a timer. So I've got my we're going to go back to, to no sensor input triggers. I've got it set up as an output. When the brake pressure is enabled, I'm going to click on my timer. I've got an active time. That's just how long the signal stays on. I've got them on for a quarter of a second. Inactive time, I've got them at a quarter of a second, and then i got repeat clicked. This is just going to every quarter second, it's going to let my man know that you've been crushed. Um, the other feature of the Holly that I absolutely love is their pin mapping capability. You go to the pin map, you look at your input, it's at the top. Brake pressure is not assigned to a pin yet. The G tells me it's a ground input. I literally pick a connector and put the brake pressure there. Pin it to A3 on the J1 connector, you're ready to rock. Same thing with the output. Anywhere that's a, that's a ground capable output, you can pin it there. You can move it wherever you want to, as long as it's set up to run on a ground. Um, that's pretty it, that's it. It's basic, it's simple, uh, the sky's the limit. Have fun with it. Cool. We're going to the table. final of the day. I told Billy, I was like, you can lean on it way harder than you did last time. <laughs>